Hello, and welcome to our episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, the sequel to Remake, which in turn is the second in a trilogy that is redoing the original Final Fantasy VII that launched in 1993. I'll say it. Probably got the date wrong. I apologize. Uh, we did the what was the demo. And the uh, very beginning of the game. So we saw Nibelheim, the events of Nibelheim. Uh, we're dealing with the fact that Tifa does not remember Cloud being there, but according to Cloud, he was there. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and yeah, we're just, we're at the start of the game. So let's go ahead and dig in. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Okay. Now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players, denoted by the Queen's Blood icon. Okay. Around the world, challenge them to match it. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Players will also give you the opportunity to find other opponents in towns. Also build and edit decks by selecting card decks from the main menu. Sure. That was fast. So each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of three lanes. A span from left to right. First try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay, so they want me to use this one. I'm going to use it here. And then the opponent goes. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. Okay. New positions will be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place a card. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power. The positions a card will add to the board are indicated in the yellow squares in the graphic bottom. Okay. So far, easy to understand. Okay, that makes sense. Next, place a card with a little chill ties on the lap. So that gives me a two here, so let's do that. When one of your cards is piled on the left, you can control the position rises in rank. Oh! As there are two pawns in that crown now, that position here is rank two, so I can place a card that uses two pawns. Gotcha. Cards can only be placed in positions equal to a higher than the rank, which is denoted by the number of pawns in the top of the corner of the card. Card can just for positions. Okay. Oh, he's going. Whoopsie! Oh, no, you don't. Now, I should have tried placing the rank two card. Yep, that's what I was gonna do. When one of your cards positions overlaps, one of your opponents should claim that position is yours. Note how the thing just will not raise his rank. But now he can't place them, and I can. Interesting. Keep track of who's winning a lane by looking at the point holes in each side of the board. The number on the left represents your power, ones on the right represent your opponent. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are tiles that are affected by the card's ability. The cards have abilities. Play cards effectively to make the most of the abilities, amass more power. And more lanes than your opponent in the event you can't discard pass or okay. So I need a one. But I can claim this blocking him in. Right. But then I claim this. I blocked him in even further. So he has to play there. That's fine. Oh, so he's won the middle. 
that I haven't placed yet. Oh no. I, I think I have lost, unless I get lucky. So I, yeah, I lose. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, it should have, I guess, placed in the back first? Uh, oh, if I put him, no. Oh, build, oh, effect is about two while this card is in play. Oh, I didn't, okay. Wait. Okay, no abilities, no abilities. I didn't even think to check that. Yeah, I've... Huh. But no place there. <clears throat> that takes two, that takes three, so alright. Once the game is over, each port is scores tabulated. Only the player with the higher power in a lane has that power added to the score. Oh. Oh, no matter how high your power in a lane may be, if it's less than your opponent's power, the same lane will not count towards your score. Alright, so we lose. Uh oh. Okay. Not by much. I don't want to replay it. All right. Oh, good. Play again. Yes, I want to play again. This is the tutorial, man. All right. A close. Well, they want me to play this one. Okay. Alright, so it's a... Oh, but... Uh, so I have to play... I have to play the cards they want me to. Alright. I thought it would be free play. I apologize. So if I play this one, I get all of these. Gonna go in the middle. Right. So that becomes one. That boosted him. If I do this, it gives me more options. Now I oh no. I do that. So I've got the top. Great. And now I've got the middle. So if he if he if he grabs the bottom, I honestly don't care. Now he's gonna go. Or they're gonna go. Great, so you've got the bottom. But now I've got the top and middle. Okay. Or I don't know how to after the one for each lane and play with the higher store for So I'll get fifteen, he'll get seven. Okay.
Hey! Alright, now we'll close. Wait, you challenges in calm. Okay. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction. Oh. Caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector the Zero, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Alright, adjust your party's gear by access material and equipment from the main menu. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. What's a folio? If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so first thing Finally. is first. Oh, hi. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Hey! Red 13 joined the party. Party level! Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment okay. checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hmm. The rook's got a backbone. Okay. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher the level, the more skills and abilities will be available in folio. So there's a party level. Interesting. Alright. Because we have triggered get equipment and check that thing. I'm gonna trigger the DLC bonus. So we get the Orbital Leviathan because I've beaten played Final Fantasy VII Remake a couple of times. Never on hard mode though. Uh did intermission. I think it was integrate. That might be something else. And a talisman from Moogle, a survival set? Which is a Kupo Charm, five potions, a Mist Potions, a Witcher, five potions. Great. What do those do? Like, some of them I can guess. Oh, a Mist Potion is an AoE? Huh. Broken down rest stops. Okay. Oh! Folios and manuscripts. Personal growth. Interesting. Okay. Material and equipment. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Set material. He starts with the Chocobo and Moogle. Ifrit Shiva. Leviathan. And Ramu. So who- Oh, but they give different bonuses. By giving Ifrit- well, Okay. So if we go to Barry, and we can give him Leviathan, 
or Ramu? I think we give him Ramu. And I guess that means Tifa? It's Leviathan. Oh, uh, wait. Well, uh, it gives her more defense and spirit. I don't know what spirit does. Um, I don't know if we have Materia 2 set. Oh, and you can... Alright. Chakra, assess, prayer. Yeah, HP up. Precision defense. I guess that's okay. Healing fire. I like ice on cloud, but that's me personally. Um, I like wind on Tifa. Poison. I mean, everyone's got one, so I guess we're good. So that's that's all we're due there. Uh, like, are there different levels? <laughs> what do you want? Don't scare me like that. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? Like, I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> People call me Cry Baby Dead. Because the more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's Blood. <laughs> Please play around with me. Oh. Sure, Ned, dude, 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 go see a therapist, dude. I'm just saying. Alright, okay, so we can only have 15 cards. Yeah, there's... These are the only cards we have. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Yes. Oh, begin match. Start the match. Yes, I'm not gonna edit the deck. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no. I've drawn them back in your deck and draw new ones. Remember, I always don't get any Turn them to your deck. Early. Yeah, this is too many. Select, select. What? Oh, that's a one. No, that's a two. Play. Okay, good. Oh. All right, and then they go. I lose. Although, if I play a two here. But. What? That was weird. I still... Why can't I play this one here, but I can play it here? Actually, the one... So I've got the top locked down.
abilities. I need a three. Okay, so he can't play, I can. So at this point... It's about trying to boost things. Right? That is my understanding. But I can play it- okay! I don't understand this. It says it takes two. I can't play it here, but I can play it here. What happens on a draw? got the top, he got the bottom, what happens on a draw? It's a wash. Oh, oh. okay, that's good to know. Track the tiles by two while this card is in play. Oh, God, I love it. But, uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to okay. relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. You really ought to... Right. Anyway. Hard decks. I mean, this is a good standard. The Queen Bee has no ability. Edit deck. Get rid of you. Toss you in. One, 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 two. We need two to play this, one to play this. Okay. Hey, Dad, have you heard of Queen's Blood? All the kids uh, at school are playing. Hold on. What do we want to hit up first? Yeah. Armed and dangerous, yeah, I think. Sure thing, Hi, Tifa. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Um. Looks kind of like the water tower in Nibelheim. Right? Weird to think how much it meant to me back then, when I was still there. I hate that it had a timer. Or turn it five so it's okay. Okay. So she is indifferent right now. Okay. I feel like I should have said that promise to you. Oh wow. This Mako tank allows us to live in comfort. With what is this? She's late. Too late. Or am I here too early? Was getting here a day ahead of time overkill? Yes. Maybe I got a little carried away with this whole proposal business, but the weekly horoscope was crystal clear. Preparation is key. How else am I supposed to interpret that? Dude. I'm just saying, I love the design of this town. Oh, get nice uh -huh. shot. Aaron. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Uh, sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? 
I bet if you forget to do this, it backfires horribly. Oh, and I went to the folio first. All right, what is this? Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Yes. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points in mag magenta, magenta. I think they call it magenta books locations and automats to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in allies. Unlocking skill cores in the character's folio increases their stats and teaches new abilities, including synergy abilities. Into core, but clouds folio. Our skill cores may be unlocked by spending skill points. Move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does. From out, move the skill to the upper left. Match unleash a ranged attack. Okay. This displays the ability granted and SP cost. Now to unlock the skill core. Oh, hold. Hold? Oh. Okay, we've mastered a new synergy ability. Neat. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when adapting character strengths to suit your playstyle. Increasing your party's level creates more skill cores. A character with earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts, manuscripts such as the Art of Swordplay. Unlock skill cores can be sent at any time and the SP spent will be returned, so feel free to experiment. Oh, and that's, that's about nice. all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. So if we go in, was inventory, folio, wow. Oh, no, do I literally have to go to What will it be? Ah, uh, okay. How do I reset? Just hold square. Easy! Done! Cool! What's my other choice? This unlocks the path. The Punisher mode. Unleash a wind attack without expending MP. Oh, interesting. Without expending MP. Wait, so... Okay. Okay, so at level 2, 3, 4... Okay. I'm guessing. Weapon ability damage. No, my basic attacks. For an enemy, okay. Uh, um, actually, this might be the best one. The, the ability to unleash a wind magic attack or an ice magic attack without using MP means I don't have to cast spells. Ooh, increase max HP. Uh, we'll do this one for now. Look at Barrett's. That leads to lightning magic. Fire magic. Okay, so... Interesting. I wonder if we can max these out. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go this way first for Barrett. This is Tifa. Why is it showing Barrett? Temporary unlimited magic points. That sounds fun. United Refocus. Okay. I think we go this way for the temporary unlimited M. This 
Aaron. Bodyguard. Limit level. Lightning and wind. And MP. Alright, I guess we'll go this way first. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because we can win but I mean, who doesn't love a, a fastball special? Now, five is the minimum. And we're back to Cloud. Okay, so he's gonna get wind. Five. Ice. Lightning. And then we're back to wind, unfortunately. Okay. That's everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Oh. This is where it all began. The first Magnautical. I finally got my hands on the new issue. I wonder if this crazy weather had anything to do. Weapons are back this way. I am Baron Kylegate. Behold the towering wall that I have built. The future of home is bright and I mean... Oh no. Are we challenging? Okay. Challenging Grandma? No, no, no. Now we go up the stairs. A little birdie told me you can't get enough of that card game, Queen's Blood. Okay. Ooh. I'm just gonna so skip through this. But first, now she ain't ready to get your. Yes. Yep, this is the deck we're gonna use, so let's begin the match. Uh, I think we're good. We're... I hit the wrong button. That just means it starts. Go here that bumps that up to two. Gets me one down there. Can I get to three? No. I can place you there, but that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That gets me a three. Might be a good call? Because that allows me to boost. Then. And if I do this, I've got the middle on lockdown. Don't need much to win. I think this has to go up here. We'll do that for now. Pushes me forward. That locks down that. I don't have a choice. So I've won. But yeah, I can't play anything. Can I... 
I can't replace cards, huh? I, no, I can't do anything. I have to pass. Ah, this is a stomp. <sighs> Raise the. Okay, this is a one. Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, sometimes. Listen, kid, now why don't you show Bloody your appreciation? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. Oh, okay, that's creepy. And we. No, I can't jump now? Alright. Immediately go into my deck. I don't like the beads, so edit deck. Oh, I automatically get two. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this and add these as well. We'll try out that deck. I don't like the elephants either, personally. Alright, uh, we're headed in this the direction. Is terrible. Isn't there a way to see quests? This is why I'm glad that our box. Alright, whatever. Took me long enough, but I finally went and got myself a Choke about this. Alright. Belva Carso? Is that how you Welcome. say it? Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Alright, adjust your skills via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Raising your character's weapons level to unlock more of your skills, as well as stat boost. I'm going to customize your party to see play style. Changing your character's weapon will not reset this level. Start tutorial. So up from the upgrade weapon screen, you can enhance a weapon and see its stats. Here you can see your party's current equipment, their weapon levels, and the amount of skill points needed to reach the next level. Like Cloud's Buster Sword. Weapon attributes and acquired skills are played here. Okay. Now try equipping a weapon skill. The nodes in which you can equip skills are displayed here. Okay. Here we'll find a list of available skills. Select the weapon to equip it. As you increase your weapon level, you'll learn more skills and unlock more nodes in which to set them. In addition to the upgrade weapon screen, also put your skill loadout by going to the material and area. In my experience, not automatic. Oh, and there's an auto upgrade. Okay. Here's how to optimize your weapon skills using the three available options. For more skills and nodes, the game will continue to automatically adjust your loadout based on your upgrade settings. And... See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Okay. Just make sure you take proper care of her, alright? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Alright, new weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the old arms will have it available to purchase. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories. Be sure to check in often. So we've got the Sleep Saber, which we don't have enough. Hunter's Bangle, which is an upgrade for everyone. And then Power Risk Guards, best. Oh, We're not going to spend anything now. You take care of that weapon now. Okay. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability, which can also be unique. <clears throat> distinct ability, which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Use this ability repeatedly, or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Matching up to proficiency, you can use that ability even when you do not have its card spending weapon. Uh, 
Using this ability repeatedly, our meeting is proficient goals condition will increase your proficiency. Proficiency. Maxing out this proficiency. Use that ability. Okay, that last sentence. When you max out this proficiency, you can now use this ability, weapon ability, even if you don't have the weapon currently equipped, is what it should say. Okay. Max out this proficiency to use said ability, even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Okay, for some reason, my brain wasn't working. I had to recontextualize it. Okay, now I get it. Now that sentence makes more sense. So, in addition to folio, we have upgrade weapon. And that allows us to say set weapon skills. Remove this one. I don't want weapon damage. I want hit points. And the strong the how do I word this? The higher our skill level, the more weapon skills per weapon we can equip. Alright, we're gonna do weapon for now. So for him, we'll do max hit points. For Tifa. Rank. I guess duration? For Aerith. And then for Red 13. Activating Vengeance Move. I mean... Just restores HP when activating Vengeance mode. Sounds fun. So I, I feel I need to call a podcast out. And I don't do this often. And feel free to make it. It's not aha. But. I was watching. I, two things. One. I was watching Rock Frames. And I believe it was it me JP who said this was useless. Doesn't seem useless to me, because that's how you do weapon skills. And as your weapon levels up, you probably get more skills and more slots for skills. So I don't know why he said the upgrade, like he literally said something along the lines of I don't understand why upgrade weapons there is there. It doesn't do anything. Yes, it does. The other thing I want to call them out that they were all, all of them, on the particular episode I watched, was uh, specifically. By the way, this is episode. I need to check my history real quick. My personal YouTube, not my professional YouTube. Episode 381. We're all bitching. Sorry. Well, complaining, bitching. Let's put it this way. Oh no. There's a difference between 60 frames per second and 4K. No, there isn't. I'm not telling you which one I have it set to now. Uh, I will tell you input lag if set to 4K. 60 frames per second, no input lag. But visually, no difference. I'm telling you that right now. Keep in mind, I don't have a 4K monitor. I cannot physically stream at 4K. Okay, I have enough trouble streaming at 1080 because my connection I can't buy business connection. So, and they were complaining. And it's like, listen, 90% of your audience is not watching this on 4K. They're watching it on 1080. Right? That's the highest? 1080? What are the resolutions? Oh, that nabbit. Play settings. I'm oh, sorry, 1920 by 1080. 
And then after that, you jump to 4K. They're not good. You've, they've done tests. You can take three HD TVs, tell people they're 4K, and they'll go, okay, yeah. And you can take three 4K t TVs and tell people they're HD, and people go, oh, yeah. Shuffle them, and whatever you tell people they are, that's what they will see it as. Which means anything above HD, if someone says, oh, that's 4K, and you go, oh, I can see the difference. It's your brain going, oh, there must be a difference here. Let me give it a difference. So, again, I'm not going to tell you which mode I'm playing on. I will eventually lock it into performance mode. But for the first 20 videos, I am randomly either playing on, uh, uh, what do they call it? I have to look. I was trying not to look. Oh. So now, because now you can see what this particular video... What it's set to. So right now I'm playing on four graphics. Thank you. I will play for the first 20 videos. It's either going to be graphics or performance. That includes the three videos I did previously to this. Okay? When I did that, a number of them were in performance mode. A number of them were on 4K mode. The only clue I will give you is that there is a slight input lag on visual mode, on the 4K mode. Graphics mode, okay? Um, but other than that, visually, no difference. I can't see a difference. Maybe you can, but I doubt it. So, um, drop frames, love you guys, you seem like great guys, but you have, for lack of a better term, streamer problem, which is, oh, it's not 4K, woe is me, oh, oh, the visual, oh, I I'll have to resort myself to, what did I say, 19 whatever by t 1080? And 60 frames per second. Dudes. <laughs> Alright. So we got that. So let's head to the clock tower. And then again, I don't understand why it me JP said upgrade weapons does nothing. Yes, it does. There's a whole system here. Uh, when I get 225, I assume it'll, I'll have three skills and I can only have two slots or something like that. Now, eventually, I can get increases attack by 8 and increases magic attack by 8. But I assume that I can only use a limited number of slots per level. I don't know what the max level is. Oh, wait, does it tell you? Hold on. Why does it say unallocated SP for use in folios? No, I used it. We go to Folio. Which is under Inventory. I don't like that I can't change, like, at least look at it outside of the... What's, what's the point of this if I can't... I understand not being able to change anything, but at least being able to look at it. outside. That seems like a weird decision. The, the weapon's telling me Oh, if I go to upgrade weapons, it's telling me unallocated SP for use in folio. But the first thing I did before this was use all the SP I could in the folio. So maybe there's a mechanic on this. Anyway, let's go to Aaron. Oh, Cloud. Just say, do you like chocobo? I do like ice cream. Let's get started then, shall we?
you from the top. I'm going to try to max out all of it. Uh, I assume we get to the gold saucer in this game. Uh, if we do, I am going on a date with Tifa. I'm sorry, Aerith is Zach's girl. Other options include Barrett, Red 13, maybe Yuffie. Yuffie's kind of creepy. She's only 14. Oh, that is a beautiful view, though. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Oh. Don't take her for granted. <gasps> oh shit, that was fast. Gotta be. Time to go. Bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? Maybe. It's okay. I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. You were with Avalanche? Not exactly. Blue tie? Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. You know you. Up and over. Going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone? Is that 
helicopter. I just found it. Vicious. Now that you mentioned it, I yes. think I might have. Though perhaps Maybe? it was just my imagination. Or was it? Oh, for the love of get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else. And stop wasting our time. Camp dash. Reminder, by the way, uh, minimum length of episodes around one hour. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. Could go as long as two hours. Because that's just the way the game's made, baby. I'm not gonna cut in the middle of a story sequence. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. You can duck walk pretty quickly. Can yeah, I see you? Oh, I thought that was a chest. Really? How do you get that? You just have to that went well. Did the it? end's not much further. But stay on your toes. Side of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Oh! Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Oh, that's neat. You'll get more use out of it than me. I like that concept. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Best decision you've ever made. From the item transmitter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items, tools, equipment, accessories, and more. I don't think you get cards that way. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmit. Transmuted chips. Oh, so it's like the all right. Sounds about the world or improve your craft mission. Okay. Yes. Right. Now transmute items and armor using the materials from Broden Tri creating a potion. First open the item transmuter menu. Uh the current transmutal items are listed here. Increasing craftsmanship and acquiring transmuted chips will expand the range of your items you can create. These are materials and necessary amounts for the selected item. Here you can see the requirements for transmuting a potion. Transmuting an item for the first time grants EXP, which increases your craftsmanship, or experience, I should say. Try to create new items whenever you get the chance. Transmute potion by selecting from the list and holding X. Great. Oh, through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Material can be found out in the field or in chests and gained through combat. There are also items that can only be only be attained in transmutation. Neat. Like that. Uh, that probably also also does this break the economy?
right? Like if I sell, if I make a bunch of posters, oh, then sell them, you right? You made it all in one piece. Sorry, we're late. For the love of, where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Got that? Uh, oh. Now, so let's move. Since Red 13, we might have gone on a date with him. Who knows? Anyway. Any treasure chests? No, nothing yet. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. I see so I see a chest. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparky and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.